This video includes a paid sponsorship from Ridge, but more on that later. On May 8th, Tesla held a groundbreaking ceremony at the future site of their new lithium refinery in Corpus Christi, Texas. At this event, Elon Musk, Drew Baglino, and Turner Caldwell shared some interesting new details about the revolutionary new lithium refining process that Tesla will be pioneering at this facility. So in this video, I wanna discuss some of the new details that were revealed and talk about the benefits of Tesla's new process. I'm John, and this is CleanerWatt. As Elon made very clear in his comments at this groundbreaking event, lithium itself is a very common element. However, refined battery grade lithium is not so abundant. And in Elon's own words from the event, quote, there is a shortage of refinement of lithium to battery grade. This shortage is one of the core reasons why Tesla would bother with refining their own lithium, which is why Elon even went as far as saying, quote, a fundamental choke point in the advancement of electric vehicles is the availability of battery grade lithium. When you look at how quickly Tesla is growing and at their ambitious goals for the future, they are going to need a vast amount of battery grade lithium. And one of the core reasons why Tesla has been so successful over the years has been due to Elon and the Tesla team's ability to look ahead and plan for the future. For example, Tesla started building out their supercharging network um, over 10 years ago in 2012 when they were just beginning to produce the Model S. Another great example of Tesla planning ahead was their building out of Gigafactory Nevada. I found this old Tesla presentation from February of 2014 and in this presentation you can see that they were planning on building enough batteries at this factory to build 500,000 EVs. And at that time, for instance, in the full year 2013, Tesla only delivered a bit over 22,000 cars. And in this presentation, they showed that for 2014, they were projecting 35,000 uh, deliveries for that year. So Tesla was planning far ahead for 500,000 EVs in 2020, when they were only producing a small number of EVs. There are, of course, other ways that Tesla has planned ahead, but those are two great examples of Tesla planning ahead. And I believe this lithium refinery, once again, is Tesla getting ahead of the curve and making sure that they have enough lithium for the future. However, in true Tesla fashion, when it comes to this refinery, they're not going with traditional processes. However, they're pioneering their own new process for refining lithium, and the innovations that they're going to use will allow production costs to be somewhere around 30% cheaper than traditional processes. Here's how Elon, Drew, and Turner described Tesla's new innovative process at Tesla's groundbreaking event. In Elon Musk's opening comments at this event, he said, quote, battery grade lithium actually has to be extremely precise, ultra pure, because if you have any impurities in lithium, it causes degradation of the battery. So the purity requirements are extremely high, and we've got a number of innovations that we think will be quite effective in refining of lithium that haven't been done before. After Elon's initial comments, Turner Caldwell, who according to his LinkedIn profile, is listed as Senior Manager Battery Materials and Metals at Tesla, then went on to describe these innovations but before I dive into his comments, I want to introduce the sponsor of today's video. This portion of today's video is sponsored by Ridge. Are you looking for some great Father's Day gift ideas um, or just looking to upgrade your own wallet? Ridge is making gifting easy with one of their biggest sales of the year for Father's Day. The Ridge wallet expands and holds up to 12 cards and you can easily access the cards that you put in here with this little cutaway. You slide that up and you can slide out the card that you want there. Um, in addition to holding cards, on the back, it has a nice built-in cash strap, so you can put cash there as well. Um, but it's a very slim design and is built with very great materials, like for instance, this particular one that I have here, which is the carbon fiber version. Find out what Ridge has to offer by going over to ridge.com forward slash cleanerwatt, and right now you can save up to 40% off through June 15th. Once again, go to ridge.com forward slash cleanerwatt or click the link in the video description. 
Here's how Turner Caldwell described Tesla's new innovative refining process. The conventional process is a heavy sulfuric acid consumer. It's a heavy sodium hydroxide consumer. And as a result, the byproducts that are produced from that conventional process are challenging to manage and you end up with a lot of sodium sulfate that no one really wants. When it comes to the traditional way that lithium is extracted from spodumene, according to this PDF from SGS, Dot com. Lithium is extracted from spodumene concentrates by going through a roasting process at very high heat, and after that an acid roasting process. And it appears like the main acid that is used in this acid roasting process is sulfuric acid, which is of course what Turner Caldwell mentioned. Turner Caldwell went on to say, quote, Here what we're going to be using are much more inert reagents. We'll be consuming soda ash, sodium carbonate, very common industrial chemical. We'll be consuming lime, again, very industrial, very common industrial chemical. When it comes to some of the efficiency gains with Tesla's new process, Turner Caldwell went on to say, quote, and it's a much more direct route that consumes 20% less energy all in. It consumes reagents that are 60% less costly, and all the production cost is around 30% lower on a unit cost basis. So to summarize this, Tesla is using more inert reagents, which are less costly. And in addition, this process consumes less energy and is cheaper than traditional processes. Those are some pretty huge benefits. And this around 30% lower cost does go right along with what Tesla mentioned at Battery Day when they mentioned a 33% reduction in lithium cost with their sulfate-free process. In addition to those benefits, Turner Caldwell went on to say, quote, but the real key thing here is that the byproduct that's produced is much more inert. It's basically a mix of sand and limestone. So as a reminder, as Turner mentioned, with the traditional process, um, sodium sulfate is a byproduct. However, with Tesla's process, the byproducts include sand and limestone. Drew Baglino then went on to add, quote, in fact, we're looking at 30% fewer process steps in this refinery than a typical refinery while still achieving what we need to hit our cathode quality and performance targets. Turner Caldwell then went on to give further details about Tesla's um, reduction in processes. Quote, some of that is actually removing some of the purification steps that you would put in if you were a standalone lithium producer, because ultimately what matters is impurity levels in the final product, not in the intermediates that get handed from supplier to supplier. When it comes to battery grade lithium, as Elon Musk made very clear in his opening comments at this event, um, battery grade lithium has to be ultra pure because any impurities in the lithium will actually cause degradation to the battery. Elon Musk then went on to describe further some of the inefficient processes with the traditional um, refining process and talks about how Tesla is going to skip those inefficient processes. Elon said, quote, the most efficient form of lithium to use is lithium hydroxide instead of lithium carbonate. But what a lot of current industry refining things will do is they'll convert it to lithium hydroxide, then convert it to lithium carbonate, then convert it back to lithium hydroxide. So we wanted to stop that and just go straight to high purity lithium hydroxide. Now, in addition to the cost benefits and the efficiencies of Tesla's new processes, um, there are also environmental and worker benefits to this new process. Elon Musk said, quote, we do want to emphasize this is a very clean refinery. There's no toxic emissions or anything. You could live right in the middle of the refinery and not suffer any ill effects. So a very clean operation. I'm very glad that Tesla is pioneering a very environmentally friendly process for refining lithium. And it goes right along with their very efficient and more environmentally friendly process of producing their cathode precursor materials at their cathode facility at Giga Texas. So these two things will go hand in hand and will make the production of lithium ion batteries more environmentally friendly. When it comes to specific details about what materials that Tesla will specifically be extracting lithium from at this refinery, Turner Caldwell went on to say, quote, day one, it's designed for spodumene concentrate. 
It's from Hard Rock Mines. I'm not a spodumene expert, but I did a little bit of research and um, there is a difference between spodumene concentrate and hard rock ore. Tesla will not be working directly with the hard rock ore, but rather the spodumene concentrate, which is processed and extracted from hard rock lithium ores, which generally include other minerals as well. However, beyond spodumene concentrate, in the future, Tesla plans to be able to extract at this facility lithium from recycled batteries. Turner Caldwell said, quote, but as we start to have recycled batteries coming back, the factory is designed to be feed flexible, so we'll be actually processing lithium out of black mass. As Tesla made clear at their Battery Day event back in September of 2020, recycling elements and various metals from batteries is very desirable and can have a higher yield than typical ores. However, since the average lithium ion battery in a vehicle will likely last somewhere around 10 years or so, and that's what Tesla estimated here in this battery day slide, um, you can see here that the batteries that were manufactured and used in 2015 will be available in approximately 2025 for recycling. You can see here they've estimated how um, the battery cells will grow year over year, and they projected this out to 2025. So there's a little bit of a delay, and they say specifically here a 10 plus year delay um, from battery manufacturing to recycling. So there aren't a ton of batteries yet that can be recycled, but this is only going to increase in the future. And especially when you get 10 years from now, 20 years from now, recycling is going to be a great resource for a number of different materials, including the extraction of lithium um, from these recycled batteries. And apparently Tesla plans for this refinery to be able to do that in the future as well. In addition to extracting lithium from spodumene concentrate and recycled batteries, Turner Caldwell also mentioned the fact that in the future, they're going to be extracting lithium from brine and clay operations as well, which, quote, are also ramping up in North America. This was actually something that was mentioned at Tesla's Battery Day event once again back in September of 2020. And here's a clip of Elon Musk and Drew Baglino describing this lithium extraction from clay at Tesla's Battery Day event. Uh, but it, it is important to say, like, okay, what is the smartest way to uh, take the ore and uh, extract the lithium and, and do so in an environmentally friendly way? Um, and we actually discovered a, again, looking at a sort of first principles physics standpoint, um, in, instead of just the way it's always been done, um, is we found that uh, we can actually use table salt, uh, sodium chloride, uh, to uh, basically ex extract the lithium from the ore. Um, and uh, th this is, nobody's done this before, I, to the best of my knowledge, nobody's done this. Um, and it's a, a, a sort of, you know, all the elements are reusable. It's a, a very sustainable way of, of obtaining lithium. Um, and we actually, uh, uh, we, 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 we actually got uh, rights to a, a lithium clay deposit in Nevada. Over um, 10,000 acres. Over 10,000 acres. Um, and then the, the nature of the mining is actually, I think, also very environmentally uh, sensitive in that we, we, we sort of take a chunk of dirt out of the ground, or remove the lithium, and then put the chunk of dirt back where it was. So it will look pretty much the same as before, uh, and it will not look like terrible, and yeah. Simply mix clay with salt, put it in water, salt comes out with the lithium, done. Based on these comments, it appears like Tesla, or someone Tesla is working with, is making use of the lithium clay deposit rights for over 10,000 acres that Tesla secured in Nevada that were discussed at Battery Day. When it comes to the quantity of lithium that this refinery will be able to produce and when this refinery will be put into operation, in Elon Musk's opening statements, he referred to the fact that this lithium refinery would be, quote, one of the biggest lithium refineries in the world. And Elon also made it clear that, quote, we expect to produce lithium for about a million vehicles. When it comes to what Elon Musk meant by um, enough lithium to build about a million vehicles, um, previously at Tesla's Investor Day, Drew Baglino mentioned that the planned capacity of this Corpus Christi lithium refinery was to be able to produce enough lithium to build around 50 gigawatt hours of batteries per year. So if Tesla is able to refine enough lithium at this refinery to produce 50 gigawatt hours of batteries, and that's supposed to build a million vehicles, that would mean that each one of these vehicles would have roughly a 50 kilowatt hour 
battery pack, which means that Elon Musk must have been referring here to the compact Tesla because in Tesla's master plan part three, they have here their compact vehicle category and they estimate that the pack size of that particular vehicle and the Tesla equivalent will be the compact Tesla that's going to be built um, at Giga Mexico in the future. But they mentioned here that the pack size would be around 53 kilowatt hours. Is this a confirmation that this lithium refinery um, may be supplying Tesla's rumored new LFP factory that may be located in Texas? As I've mentioned in the past, it would make a lot of sense for a local lithium iron phosphate battery manufacturing facility to produce batteries to Gigafactory Mexico for this compact Tesla and Tesla producing their own lithium for that particular battery factory would also make a lot of sense. Maybe there'll be a new battery factory somewhere located near this particular lithium refinery in the future. Who knows? But at the very least, this lithium refinery will likely be producing lithium that will be used at Gigafactory Texas. With that being said, Tesla will obviously still need to buy quite a bit of lithium from outside suppliers because they have terawatt hour um, goals of battery production in the future. And while producing enough lithium for 50 gigawatt hours of batteries is going to be helpful, that of course is not going to be enough for all of their plans in the future, not even close. When it comes to when this factory should be operational, Elon Musk said, quote, we're aiming to finish construction next year and then reach hopefully full production about a year later. With that being said, Tesla is once again pushing the industry forward with a new innovative process that should allow for lithium refining to be more efficient and also more environmentally friendly. And hopefully Tesla is able to ramp up this facility without any delays. Do let me know what you think about this in the comments section below. I'd love to hear from you. And also I wanna say once again, thank you to Ridge for sponsoring this video. And also thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community that I've set up and how you can support my work, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.